Windfall, The Prairie Woman Who Lost Her Way and The Great Granddaughter Who Found Her, written by Erica Bolstad, is a compelling tale that transcends time, unearthing the life of a woman named Anne, who lived in North Dakota during the early 20th century, and her great-granddaughter, the author Erica Bolstad. The story begins in the present day as Erica embarks on a journey to understand her familial roots, particularly the life of her great-grandmother Anne. Erica's curiosity is sparked by a letter and a series of checks that arrive for her mother, deriving from mineral rights and oil profits linked to Anne's once-owned land in North Dakota. This unexpected windfall encourages Erica to delve into the complexities of her family's history on the prairie. Through meticulous research, Erica pieces together Anne's pioneer life, marked by resilience and hardship. Anne was a Norwegian immigrant who, alongside her husband, Gilman, sought prosperity in the American Midwest. They made a homestead on the prairie, working arduously to carve out a life from the harsh and unforgiving landscape. The couple's story encapsulates the struggles faced by many immigrants during this era, pushing against bouts of loneliness, extreme weather conditions, and the economic turmoil of the Great Depression. Erica's quest to reconnect with Anne's life takes her to the vast, windswept landscapes that were once her great-grandparents' homestead. Through historical documents, photographs, and personal anecdotes, Erica uncovers the tribulations and triumphs that shaped Anne's life. The narrative reveals the deep bond Anne developed with the land, as well as the intimate experiences of marriage, motherhood, loss, and the relentless toil that defined the days of homesteaders. The author describes Anne's struggles with candid emotion including her battle with mental health issues, which were, at the time, poorly understood and stigmatized. A pivotal moment occurs when Anne's life takes a turn for the worse as she becomes overwhelmed by the pressures of her circumstances. In a moment of desperation, Anne becomes lost in a snowstorm, an event that symbolizes her broader struggle to find her place in an unforgiving environment and the isolation that can come from the extreme rural life. As the story unfolds, Erica also grapples with her own connection to the land and the oil beneath it, which has yielded a financial windfall for her family. She contemplates the environmental and ethical implications of the inheritance, which ties her to the modern-day oil boom in North Dakota and the controversial practice of hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. This inner conflict mirrors the larger national discourse on energy, climate change, and the legacy of land stewardship. Erica's journey is one of reconciliation and self-discovery as she learns to embrace the many facets of her heritage. She reflects on the enduring spirit of Anne, who, despite her challenges, managed to persevere in a land full of both promise and hardship. The narrative also touches on the cyclical nature of history and the inextricable link between family legacies and the lands they inhabit. Throughout Windfall, Erica Bolstad seamlessly weaves the threads of past and present crafting a multidimensional portrait of Anne, her family, and their relationship to the American landscape. The prairie serves not only as the backdrop of Anne's life, but also as a character in itself, influencing the lives of those who attempt to tame it. In capturing Anne's experiences, Erica provides a wider commentary on the legacy of American homesteaders and the enduring impact of their choices on subsequent generations. Anne's struggles with land ownership, financial security, and personal well-being reflect broader themes of the American experience, including the pursuit of the American dream and the toll it can take on individuals and families. As Erica's understanding of Anne's life deepens, she gains insight into the strength and sacrifice that defined her great-grandmother's existence. She comes to appreciate the remarkable fortitude that allowed Anne to endure the depths of winter the violence of dust storms, and the fever pitch of summer heat, all while raising a family and maintaining a home. The connection between Anne and the North Dakota landscape becomes a powerful symbol of perseverance and the indomitable human spirit. The land that tested Anne's resolve eventually provides a form of redemption for her descendants, offering them a financial boon, while also stirring complex emotions about the environmental cost and their responsibility to the land. In the final chapters of Windfall, Erica reconciles her newfound knowledge of Anne's life 
with her own feelings about the windfall that has resulted from decades-old decisions. She ponders the fate of the prairies and the communities that have ridden the waves of booms and busts, cultivating an understanding of the ways in which land, identity, and history are forever intertwined. Erica also comes to terms with her own family's legacy. The narrative journey allows her to honor Anne's memory, not as a distant forebear lost to the annals of history, but as a vital complex woman whose life laid the foundations of Erica's present. In this way, Windfall is not only a rediscovery of a great-grandmother's life story, but also an intimate exploration of family, inheritance, and the meaning of home. By the story's end, Erica Bolstad has not only documented Anne's trials and triumphs, but has also charted a course through her own moral and emotional landscape, exploring how the land that gave so much to her ancestors continues to shape her family's destiny. The book closes with a sense of resolution and understanding, bridging the gap between past and present, and finding beauty and strength in the enduring connection to place and kin. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.